In this video we're going to go over making a virtual proof of a promotional product. Um, anybody out there that sells promotional products will know that uh, virtual proofs are a great way of showing your customer what a product is going to look like without actually ordering a actual proof um, which can cost you a lot of money and um, take a lot of extra time to creating a virtual proof on a lot of distributor websites um, is possible but um, I think most promotional um, salespeople need to use the basics of like CorelDRAW or a program similar to it to create their own virtual proofs that way they can do it on demand and not have to rely on somebody else so um, with that being said we're going to go ahead and create um, a virtual proof here just from kind of a random product I've kind of already got a couple picked out um, that we're going to use for this series um, on this first one we're going to pick probably one of the easier um, situations you're going to run across and what we'll do here is I'm just going to go to a, um, a supplier website and we're going to use admins um, just as a side note I do like admins it's a it's a great company to work with and um, I've picked out a small tin here and what we're going to do is as you can see they supply you with a picture here and it's they got good examples of you know things they've done in the past but what we're going to do is put your company logo uh, maybe that you already have or that you're going to make this presentation to we're going to put it right on that tin so that um, they can see exactly what it's going to look like and uh, that way you don't have to rely on anybody else to do it so what we're going to do is we're going to get the biggest picture we can here I'm just going to click on that magnifying glass there and you can see this picture comes through and we're just going to right click and click copy image and we'll go ahead and close that window. Then we'll go. We'll switch back here, and um, I'm going to switch back to I have Corel Draw open, and um, I've got a blank page in front of me. So then I'm just going to right-click on that page and click paste. Um, that's real easy, cut and paste. And um, this isn't too bad of an image. It's going to work good for um, a one-page presentation. It's got enough resolution there that that'll work fine. So the first thing we got to do though is we've got to take their logo off of there, and uh, that's probably um, one of the uh, first things that uh, we need to show you how to do and if you've got the CorelDRAW suite you will um, basically know that CorelDRAW you know is your vector based system and it's not going to have any tool really to take that off of there so what we just need to do is with this image selected we need to go up and click on edit bitmap and what that will do is that will open Corel Paint and in Corel Paint we can easily take that image off of that tin. So now that we've got that open, I'm going to zoom in on what we're where we're going to work a little bit there, and um, that way we can see. Now to take that off there, it's actually pretty easy, and you have to kind of remember what we're doing here is we don't have to have a absolutely perfect image um, as if we were doing some photography work and stuff. We just need to learn the basics so that we can get this virtual proof to the customer and and make a sale. But at the same time we're going to get something that's an, or a finished product here that looks uh, really good. Now the tool to do this, there's several different ways to do it, but really what I'm going to show you is what I think is the easiest. We're going to use the clone tool. Now the clone tool is right over here on the uh, by default it shows the red eye removal tool and I'm going to click on that little arrow there uh, and then a little fly out box. We're going to pick the clone tool. Now the clone tool is pretty simple to use once you understand it. We're going to click on an area and then where you can see the area with the X, that's the area that it's going to make a copy of and it will put it inside the other circle that I've got moving. When I click the mouse button it'll make a copy of what's in there and put it down here. So it's going to make a copy of this blank area and put it wherever I run this. So I'm just going to move this across. As you can see, it just made a copy of what's up here, down here, which is that blank area. So we're just going to keep running this across until we have everything gone. And we can just go back and forth here. And there you can see I goofed up a little bit. And I'll just hit Control Z and we'll just do that again. So the clone tool makes it real easy to do erasing. And you can see there's a little smudge up here. What I'm going to do is I can't clone from here. It'll clone what's again up there with the where the little 
uh, plus sign is, it's going to clone it down to there. So I need to right click down here and move my area that I'm going to clone from there up to here and we'll just take care of that little smudge. As you can see now we have a perfectly blank tin and all we have to do at that point is click the save button and then we can close our Corel paint because we're done with it and we're back in Corel Draw now with our little tin with a complete blank surface and then we can drop our logo on top of that. So that's how we get rid of the uh, that's how we get rid of the logo. Now putting a logo on there of course assumes that we have a logo or we could just set some type on there by just typing it in but um, I'm gonna go ahead and import a logo so I'm gonna use a little import shortcut button up here and um, I've got a GE logo it's in EPS format so it's a vector file I'll click that and click import that will bring it in and um, I'll just place it right on top of here as you can see it's it's too big for it but what we can do is we can size it down until we get it about where we want to go now we can just rotate it to fit onto there we can just click on this again and rotate and get till we get it the right angle that sorta is going to give the customer the um, the feel for what it is um, even though this is actually on an angle what I like to do is I like to click on it again and I like to skew it a little bit that gives us a better representation of what it will actually look like printed on there. I just skew it just a little bit and then I rotate it. And again, this does not have to be perfect because this just gives the customer an idea what it looks like. And there you can see we've got a pretty nice proof. We could rotate that maybe a little bit better. I'm just trying to line up this kind of line here so that we're straight with the bottom of that lettering is what I'm shooting for. So that looks pretty good and let's say the customer actually wants to see that in blue. So since that's a vector file we can just make that blue and I think that maybe is a little bit too big for that. So now we've got an image here. We could select this whole thing, put it on a page here. Uh, we could add some text here with the pricing, uh, maybe your company logo or something like this and have a little sell sheet that you actually uh, presented to the customer with the pricing and has their logo on it looks like it's printed shows them what they're getting and that's how you do that in Corel Draw. that's a real powerful tool creating a virtual proof really allows your customer to see what they're getting and can greatly increase your sales so hopefully you found that useful we're going to do a few more videos on creating virtual proofs each one will work with different products and different challenges. Um, this is kind of a simpler one because we just had kind of a smooth surface and we'll work on some other projects in other videos. So thanks for listening and we'll see you in the next video.